I had a few blocks of wood left over from the big project I'm working on, so I thought to myself, why not carve a skull out of one? Luckily, I can use one of my gemstone skulls as a very accurate template, but first let's back up a bit. To start, I just made a quick template to follow on the bandsaw, and at this point, the only thing that really matters is the outline, so please, please ignore my horrendous and hastily doodle details. They are literally only there because it made it easier to approximate a basic outline. I promise that the teeth will look better than this once it's finished. Then I just grabbed one of my leftover blocks and brushed a thin coat of glue over one face. Now that I'm explaining this out loud, it feels a bit redundant. I mean, it's probably safe to assume that anyone watching this is old enough to know how to glue paper onto something, so I guess now is the time to use all of that training from kindergarten. Alright, now I have my shape cut out, and normally I would cut the edges as well so that it isn't so square and save myself some time, but doing that on something like a skull may be problematic because I need a fair amount of thickness for the cheekbones and temples, so I'm just not going to worry about it. I adjusted the shape a bit because the back of the skull was a bit too flat. Luckily, I can use one of my gemstone skulls to go off of, because this one is extremely accurate. I'm going to keep the talking to a minimum because I don't want this video to get too long. So, I guess with that being said, I'll just jump in and start carving.
can start staining, but first I want to point out that it's really important to sand out all scratch marks before staining because these scratches will hold more stain and show up darker. You can, however, use that to your advantage to make the teeth and gum lines, nostrils, and eye sockets stand out more. <laughs> and I'd say it came out very well. That dark stain really helped bring out the texture of the grain of the wood. You can use just about anything as a top coat. I just used high gloss lacquer because the sheen really helps make the contour stand out. That and the only other high gloss top coat that I have on hand is marine spar varnish and I can't really think of a single reason as to why I would need to make a wooden skull water resistant. Thank you for watching. I'm still working on my big project but as always I'll have another video out soon.